Hey guys, I'm sorry about the weird angle going on right now, and I'm sorry that I'm on the floor and that this is kind of strange, but I wanted to do a really quick YouTube video and I didn't have any time to set up my camera very properly, so I'm putting it, I literally have it on a box, and there is my, that, it's very, not good. Okay, so, I'm just going to move on and start the accent challenge, the accent tag, it isn't a challenge. Um, I am basically really lazy and don't want to do anything today. Okay, no, let me rephrase that. I have a lot of things to do that I've been procrastinating because I took the SAT and then after the SAT I felt like 24 hours of exhaustion. I have basically been unable to do anything since I've taken the SAT and that is really bad. So I need to do a really quick video. Uh, this is the accent tag and uh, if you're not sure what a tag is, you're about to figure it out using logic. Your name and your username. Ah, uh, my lighting source! <laughs> okay. Your name and username. Alright, my name is Danny, and my username is Daniel the Manual. Where you're from? Uh, I'm from Long Island. It's uh, that island that is on New York. I'm sure you have heard of it before because New York is a pretty awesome big place, and I'm sure you know what Long Island is. Pronounce the following words. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the words appear somewhere on the screen while I say them. Now, uh, you guys can either laugh at me or agree with how I say these words. Uh, ant, roof, root, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, Mayonnaise, pajamas, caught, naturally, aluminum, jiff, tumbler, cracker jack, doorknob, envelope, G boy. That's how I say those words. Ooh, okay, so now here are some questions that are in the accent tag, and I guess the answers vary from region to region. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? For me, that would be TPing, although I don't TP, I'm a good person. Uh, what is a bubbly carbonated drink called? Soda. Now I know that this like varies depending where you are in the United States, and I'm sure in other countries it's different things too, but I am really a strong advocate for soda. For me, if you were to say cola, that would mean either Coke or Pepsi. Those are colas to me. Uh, it's like the brown drink, I guess, I don't know. It's cola, that's what it is. And um, if you were to say like bubbly, I don't know, what else do they say? Uh, Coke? I guess they say Coke, that's one. And I, I would be so pissed off if you called it a Coke. The only one I'm okay with other than soda is pop, but I don't say pop. I think that's kind of like old fashioned. I think it'd be like 1950s when I think of pop, but whatever. Um, what do you call gym shoes? I say sneakers, and only recently have I realized that I'm pretty much alone on this in... Well, no, I'm not alone. My region is kind of alone on this. Most people don't say sneakers, they say tennis shoes or... I don't even know. Um, what do you call your grandparents? Uh, I call my grandma and grandpa, grandma and grandpa, and... I would never say, like, grandfather, grandmother, or, like, anything like that. I think that doesn't really vary from region to region, it varies from person to person, because I know a lot of people were like, nanny, noni, and whatever. Like, whatever culture you are, you tend to have a word for your grandparents relating to that culture. And sometimes there's, like, really weird, unique, like, family inside joke words. I don't even know. But I am plain and simple grandma and grandpa. Um, what do you call the wheel contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? I would call this a grocery cart. Uh, shopping cart sometimes, but never, like, a trolley. I would never say that in my entire life. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? Okay, so personally, I call it a remote control, but my mom calls it a clicker or a channel changer. She has all these weird words for it. I'm just really for remote control. That's what I call it. Um, choose a book and read a passage from it. My textbook is <laughs> next to me, so I'm gonna read that. Uh, you can't fully enjoy a game unless you know its rules, whether it's a ball game, computer game, or party game. If you don't know the rules, it could be boring. You miss out on what others enjoy. 
Just as a musician hears what untrained ears can't, and just as a cook tastes food, taste in food what others miss, a person who knows nature's rules can better appreciate nature. That's so corny. That's how my physics book starts. Um, do you think you have an accent? Uh, personally, I don't think I have an accent. I was informed the other day by my neighbor that we all have accents and we don't notice it, but I never would say that I had an accent. I would never guess that I have an accent. I would just be like, uh, no, I talk normally and everyone else talks weird. Uh, there might be certain words that I say kind of strange. I don't think, I don't know, I feel like my, the way I talk might be a little weird, but it's not, I wouldn't associate it with the place I'm from. I, I don't know, do you guys think I have an accent? If you think I have an accent, comment below. Um, but for the most part, I would never say I have an accent. Uh, also, if you think I have an accent, make sure it's the right accent. I'm from Long Island, so I would assume that if you did think I have an accent, you would think it would be a Long Island accent. Alright, I'm gonna go edit this now, and then I'm going to study for human geography. <laughs> Bye.